Hey everybody, I got something real special for you guys um, tonight, afternoon, whatever you want to call it. What you see there in the upper left hand corner is a pre-beta, considered even pre, uh, post-alpha pre-beta preview of Komodo Internet Security version 2011. Um, there's still some major things missing from it, so this isn't a definitely not finished but um, I'm gonna just show you guys what it looks like so let's let's get going here uh, there's gonna be no testing or anything tonight because it's not finished yet uh, but we'll, we'll just kinda go through it so first thing you notice that the install icon is very different so let's uh, let's install it and see what we can do with it here I think I started the installer here. Yes, I did. Okay. So you can see this definitely looks different here. So far it's all fairly the same. It's just that the u user interface here is different. Looks much more polished. Um, kind of to go in uh, hand in hand with some of their other products uh, that we know that are in beta, you know, Komodo System Cleaner, Komodo Cloud Scanner, and all that. Okay, so I guess this is considered beta right now, but this is be this beta is not publicly available, so it's just for special people <laughs> uh, like the mods. Everything looks pretty much normal here. I'm gonna pause the video so we don't waste. Oh no, never mind. It's going. I'm sure it's probably gonna want to ask me to uh, restart. So we're gonna restart when this is all done doing its fun stuff. Yep, you can see the icon is different. And now you can see they call it an alpha here. So like I said, it's between an alpha and a beta type of uh, thing right now. Um, if you guys want to find out what some of the changes are, when this uh, goes public beta, you'll find out. As of right now, uh, I don't think it'd be a good, I mean, good idea for me to say anything, seeing as the beta isn't public yet. But... Um, when it is you guys will see some of the major changes alright so I'll be back after the computer restarts okay so welcome back just waiting for Windows 7 here to get going it's, it's slow because of uh, being on a virtual machine so I'd be having an older computer here Maybe sometime I'll uh, put the money together and give it a good upgrade. It hasn't been changed in about five years. So. Okay, so you can see uh, we got a new detection screen for the network here. I like the little green color. It looks kind of cool. I think this has to detect two networks. I'm not sure. Okay, you got a new icon here, a new little shield. We still have, oh, what do we see there? Something people have been asking for. And there's the main user interface. Let's see what we got here. We got uh, up this is the new looks like it's um, the little thing like to do tasks like update now uh, probably scan now things that need to get done you can see the antivirus bar here you know uh, what mode we're in we're in stateful scan now button 
Defense Plus, we're in safe mode, intrusion attempts. Unrecognized files will be treated as partially limited. Let's see what else? Firewall, we have safe mode. Inbound, outbound, traffic, we can stop all the traffic, that's kind of cool that we have that there. Um, here you can change your settings. Yeah, you can do your sandbox settings. Image execution settings. Which is kind of like sandbox, apparent, uh, what I bet it looks like. Buffer overflow. There's your sandbox settings, just like right now monitored settings, so that's all defense plus. Go to antivirus here. Window looks fairly much the same. Run a scan, update virus definitions, quarantine items, that looks the same. Scanner settings, manual scanning, scheduled scanning, exclusions, that's pretty much all the same. Firewall, firewall behavior settings, Alert settings, stealth port wizard, let's see what else here. Firewall events. That looks pretty much the same. We already saw the defense plus settings here. View unrecognized files, submitted files, that's uh, new. If you active uh, run a program in the sandbox, that's nice. It's all that you don't have to go to that more advanced settings here that was on the left before. Uh, see computer security policy. Definitely uh, a lot of different things have been added. Predefined settings, always sandbox. Blocked files. This is nice that it's tabbed now. That's not in a bunch of separate windows. Protected registry keys, com interfaces, trusted vendors list. So what we have here for more uh, preferences, language. You know, this is all basically the same thing as we uh, have now. Uh, diagnostics, check for updates, support forums, help bar. So as you can see. Um, in the um, let's see what that looks like when it's activated. You can see it has a little check mark there. You can see that the interface is much sleeker, smoother, uh, just overall much more refined. Um, and I mean, I'm not like I said, I'm not going to go into too many details about the internal changes when it comes out in public beta. Uh, you guys will find out all about that. As of right now, this is pretty much just a kind of short little preview so you guys can check out what it looks like. So that's it for this one. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the quick little video and uh, take care.